The Home Secretary, Theresa May, has denied Olympic security is a shambles, despite the military being called in to plug the gap left by the failure of the private provider G4S. G4S said it might not be able to provide enough guards for all the Olympic venues. PC John Tully from the Metropolitan Police Federation, which represents rank-and-file officers, joins me now. John, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Andy. Uh, I mean, what's your take on, on a private security company, G4S, doing this in the first place? Well, that, that's a matter really for the organising committee, LOCOG. They've, they've entered into a, a contract with G4S and uh, they had expectations at the outset, which unfortunately G4S have taken a, a conscious decision to recruit and train people at a very late notice, hence the shortfall, uh, which has left everyone in the position we're in today. What now then for Olympic security? I mean, as, as a police federation, does this concern you now? Well, it certainly does, because I think at the end of the day, the bottom line is, the last line of defence is the, the thin blue line, people are to call it, but the people I represent, my members, the rank and file, have actually got to pick up the pieces when things go wrong. I know we've called in 3,500 extra troops, and, and the Home Secretary tried to explain her position on that yesterday, uh, but I think it's very regrettable that we're in this position, and someone from G4S should be held to account for it. What will the police's role be, then, in the Olympics? Well, we've got a, a wide role. We've got not only Olympic security uh, to, to deal with, but we've got business as usual. Uh, policing doesn't just stop because we've got an Olympic Games to, to, to police. We have to uh, police 24-7 response uh, across England and Wales, and uh, the people I represent will be doing that, and uh, hopefully they'll get it right. As you say, you've got, to, you've got to police London, major capital city anyway, during this, this busy time. Um, are your members having to uh, forego summer holidays? Is leave cancelled to make sure that you're all there, the thin blue line is there? There's been an expectation that police officers would not take annual leave or, or days off during the Olympic period. There's a lockdown period we're now in. Um, we've had a, a number of massive events across this year, the Queen's uh, Diamond Jubilee, etc. Uh, so, yes, the, 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 across England and Wales, police officers have uh, been expected not to take leave. And... Um, that's where we are. So, you know, they've, they've worked relentlessly to, to keep people safe. And I'm just concerned that public safety is now at risk because of this shortfall. Having said that, we've got the, the army. Uh, we know the 3,500 troops are being called in to, to help. Uh, surely that will allay fears of public safety. I think that may be the case, but you have to consider that there were reports yesterday from whistleblowers that uh, have actually gone through the G4S training regime that in some cases up to 50% of the time uh, fake bombs, guns, knives, etc. were being uh, got into the sites with, uh, with impunity almost. So that, that must raise eyebrows and raise concerns. Um, how closely do you work then with uh, the, the private security guards and with the army to make sure that London is safe for the Olympics? I'm absolutely uh, convinced that London is safe. Um, we have, of course, got a concern about public safety because we are stretched. We are the thin blue line. The government's 20% cuts have meant that that line is getting even thinner. Um, we're now looking at possible privatisation of certain services and... To, to our regret, G4S is one of the major companies uh, in line to do that privatisation job. Uh, so, you know, as business as usual has to go on, 24-7 response policing will continue despite the Olympic Games being, being on. Uh, so we have uh, a, a diminishing workforce of police officers doing more and more. John, thanks for your time this morning. PC John Tully there from the Metropolitan Police Federation.